Hi everybody and welcome to the electrolyte slides. It's going to be really short on this uh, particular chapter. We've got about 12 slides only. Sorry for the delay in putting them up. Uh, hope you've been studying reproduction. We're going to move in now to slide two and you don't have to worry about that one. You don't have to worry about slide three and that'll bring us right into slide four which is body water content. And what we're talking about is we'd like you to focus on this for a second and think about this for just one minute. If infants are born and they're really chubby and they have a lot of fluid in them, about 73% water, but we get when we get old, we only have 45% water, what kind of conclusion can you draw from that? Well, you might decide that, hey, when you get older, you need to flat drink some water, huh? And uh, males have more water than females, and that's because, ladies, we have more body fat than the men do, typically. Our fluid in our body is stored in two places. It's inside our cells, and the rest of it is outside of the cells in the body, in the blood plasma, the fluid between the cells, and also, like, in your lymph, your eye fluid, your cerebral spinal fluid, in your spine, gastrointestinal fluids. So this accounts for like where a lot of our water goes to. And then on slide six, we just want you to know that in chemistry, there's a thing called a solvent. And basically the question is, what is our universal solvent? And that's water. And that's because we're basically made of water. Everything in our body over, you know, 90% is water. And what is a solute? Well, you can make a solution by dissolving things in water, like sugar water, salt water. So a solute would be the sugar or the salt that's dissolved into the water. 